pop this movie in, I didn't really know what to expect. And... yeah. Hi guys, Morgan with the Rotoscopers here, and today I'm giving you a Blu-ray review. This time it's Jungle Shuffle. You might be thinking, Jungle what? Yeah, because I thought the same thing when I got this. I'd never heard of this movie before, it wasn't released in the US theatrically. And so doing a little bit of research, it turns out that this is a co-op by a Korean studio, and I think, I believe, a Mexican studio. It was kind of hard to do the research to really find out, because it was just so small and not that well known. You know, and I thought it was interesting that it was done by a Korean studio, because as I was watching this, I was thinking, this kind of reminds me of the nut job. Just production values and whatnot. It's not up to Disney DreamWorks level, let's just put it that way. So, the story. So as you can see, there are some crazy critters up in here, and basically these are two Kawati. Kawati is sort of a, a South American raccoon, um, and so it follows them and their tribe, and these two, Manu and Sacha, they're in love, and they're really little, and, you know, but she's the daughter of a chief, so she's a princess, and, you know, the dad really doesn't like Manu. In a big accident, Manu accidentally destroys the big idol that this tribe worships, and as a result, he gets banished. This makes Sasha really sad because she loves him, she wants to be with him, but then eventually she gets kidnapped as well by some humans, some poachers who want to use her. This is one part I didn't understand. These humans, which is sort of like this human subplot, they want to take the DNA of a female Kawadi and sort of inject it to create this like super species of chicken? This big mega corporation, so bad, so horrible, and I'm just sitting here thinking like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Anyways, yeah, they need to be able to figure out the secret formula to create the super chicken by the end of the quarter, which, are you kidding me? You can't do that in three months. No. Anyway, yes, so they live in the rainforest, and the rainforest also is being like chopped down by these humans. I'm like, oh my gosh. Is this the 90s again? It just reminded me of animated films from the 90s, where the big threat, if you were an animal that lived in a forest slash jungle, was people cutting down trees. <gasps> okay, so animation, like I said, the animation really is um, not the best. It's, it's a bit cheap, but you know, nonetheless, these are very small studios, and they're up and coming, and they're just trying to do their best. So they don't have the biggest budgets. They're not DreamWorks, they're not Disney, but they're doing their best with the technology that they have. The animation is very clunky. It just seems very just robotic in a way. Like there was this one shot at the very beginning where the camera's panning through some jungle leaves, and then the leaves are just sort of like mechanically moving out of the way. Way of the camera. Not very natural or fluid. The actual characters themselves, I found, I found them a bit hard to look at. Um, they seemed almost as if they were cell shaded in a way, sort of like the Wind Waker, one of the Zelda games. But at the end, in the credits, they showed these color keys basically, which is just swatching on very basic spots of color so you can get an idea of the color for a frame. And then I was like, wow, that's really crazy because that's what this movie looks like. There's there's no definition, it, there's no texture, it's just very flat and here's your color. And then maybe you have like a shadow color, but very flat, which is something you don't usually see in CGI animated films. Usually you get a little more contrast and depth. The character animation isn't the most expressive. Uh, don't watch the mouths when they're moving because they're kind of just like, bah, bah, bah. But I'm not trying to bash this movie at all, I'm just pointing out the things that I noticed as an animation fan, as someone who watches animation all the time, uh, those things stood out, definitely. So I'm gonna give this movie one and a half stars. I really wasn't invested in Jungle Shuffle. Alright guys, that is all I have for my Blu-ray review. Oop, actually it's not! So, as you can see, uh, surprise stickers inside. So since I didn't do an unboxing for this, I'm just gonna show you. There is no digital copy you get with this, it's just a Blu-ray, 3D Blu-ray, and a DVD, which I think that's nice. Uh, and the bonus, the, the big surprise, is right here. You get some stickers, so you get the humans, you get, there's some Black Panthers that are in the scene, um, there's obviously the Kawadi, her, there's a little monkey friend, so I'm basically spoiling all the main characters that are in this movie. Um, but yes, and bonus stickers if you're into that. Alright, now I'm actually done with my review. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this film. If you've seen it, give me a review. I'm really interested to see what you guys think. And if you haven't, let me know if you think you're going to end up watching it or not watching it. Alright guys, that's all I have for you. Until next time, I'm Morgan, and this is the Rotoscopers YouTube.